What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna dive right into your December market update. We're gonna re be reviewing the numbers from November here in Oklahoma City. We're also gonna talk about some breaking news in the mortgage world that you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for. And we're also gonna answer that question that everybody's asking, is now a good time to sell my house? There's a lot going on right now in the real estate world. Interest rates are up, kinda. New listings are down. The number of homes for sale is up, which means inventory is rising. So what does it all mean? We're gonna dive right into it. But first, if you don't already know who I am, I wanna introduce myself to you very quickly. My name is Craig from Exit Realty Premier, and I'm the founder of the Curio House Group. And it is my goal in life and business to simplify and streamline the residential real estate sales and purchase process for people just like you. Because at the end of the day, you're not a sale, you're not a house, you're not an address, you are a person, your family is a family, and I look at you through the lens of a human being. I want to understand what it is you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to do for your family, and then I want to help you get there. So guys, let's dive right in. Happy December, by the way. November is out the door. December is here. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday, and I hope you're ready for Christmas because it's only a couple weeks away. Now, speaking of Christmas, there is a ton of stuff around the Metro for you and your family to do this holiday season. Coming up on December 3rd, we've got the Holiday River Parade downtown. Tomorrow night, which is Friday night, Harkins Theater downtown is doing a screening of Four Christmases, which is bound to be a lot of fun. And if you guys haven't made it out to Yukon for Christmas in the park, that is an absolute must. You need to get out there and check it out. You're you're gonna be wowed. You're gonna thank me, seriously. Go check it out. It's at Chisholm Trail Park in Yukon. It is definitely worth the drive, worth your time to go see that and, uh, and hang out for the evening. So before we dive into the December market update, I wanna give you guys a little good news. If you're a seller, this is great news because we've been waiting to hear this. And if you're a buyer, you're gonna be ecstatic. Interest rates have finally ticked down. In fact, today they plummeted. This is the biggest decrease in 30 year conventional rates in 57 days. So we're actually locking buyers today at an even just under percent, which has not happened for the last couple months. And so real quick, I'll just show you this article. This is from Fox Business. Good news, today's 30-year mortgage rates plunge to a 57-day low. This is from December 1st today, and this is for a 30-year conventional rate. Now, keep in mind, we've been, kind of been preaching the last several weeks about our buy-downs, right? So lenders are bringing out these programs called buy-downs. You're able to do a permanent rate buy-down. You're able to do a 3-2-1 buy-down, which effectively buys your rate down for the first three years. You're able to do a 2-1 buy down, buying your rate down for the first two years. There's a lot of opportunity if you're on the buyer's side or if you're on the buy side to reduce your interest rate and your monthly payment. And as a seller, there's a lot of opportunity to help your buyer out in terms of like, you know, concessions without giving them just a $25,000 price decrease or, you know, a discount effectively. In, instead of doing those large discounts, simply um, offering your buyer five, six, eight, 8,000, 10,000, depending on the price of the house and, and each individual situation. I'm not just recommending you throw money at your buyers, but I'm saying you can make a bigger impact on your buyer's monthly payment by offering them money for a rate buy down than you will just simply discounting the price. So the buyer gets more bang for their buck. You don't lose as much money from your proceeds and everyone's happy, but check this out. So 30 year conventional rates, 5.875 down from 6.5%. That's 62 hundredths of of, at 62 hundredths of a point, that is not a small decrease. So they fell basically three eighths of a point, which is a huge decrease. Guys, I would very highly recommend that if you are interested in buying or if you've been shopping and you have not locked your rate, I would recommend you lock your rate right now. 100% serious. I think the difference in six and a half and something under six is gonna be, that could be a couple hundred bucks a month, depending on the price of the house that you're looking at. So please do not take this drop light if you are shopping for a house, if you know that you and your family are gonna be purchasing a home in the next 60 days, 90 days, talk to your lender. If you don't have a lender, reach out and I'll help you get a lender and lock your rate now. You're gonna save a ton of money. But you came for the market update. So let's jump in and I wanna 
show you the market stats straight out of the MLS. So this is for the Oklahoma City Metro. Now I'm able to pull a couple different markets here. And what I did was I pulled the Oklahoma City market, the Edmond market and the Guthrie market. Those are the three that I do the most business in. I found that most of my clients and the people that I would be doing a market update for are in these markets. So I'm just gonna stick with these three for now. Now, if you haven't seen one of my market update videos, I'll give you a quick synopsis. So what I like to do is look at a bar graph. I just don't really like the, the lines. I don't think it gives you as much of a visual as the bars do. And I look at the last three years. So I'm going to look at our current year and the previous two. This is going to give me a good idea of how the market has changed month to month over the last couple years. Okay. We're looking at the median sales price. And what I'm seeing here is Oklahoma City is up 10% month over month. Edmond is up 5.4% and Guthrie is up 36.6% month over month in terms of sales price. Okay. That's the median sales price. If we look at the average, it's going to be a little bit different, but let's stick with median because I feel that gives us a better or more accurate representation of what's really happening. So when we look at this, there's been a lot of talk about us going into a recession and prices plummeting. And there's a lot of investors out there or people who have been thinking about buying and they're kind of sitting on the sideline thinking, well, I'm going to wait until the market crashes and then I'm going to buy up everything. I'm just going to gobble it up. This is evidence that that is not going to happen. This is not that type of recession. This is not a price recession where we're seeing massive price drops and price cuts and slashes and all that. Prices are holding steady, guys. And beyond that, prices aren't going in. The price is what the price is. I think the best way that you can get a good deal on a home right now is to lock when rates are low, to listen to people like myself and the lenders, the, the people that are actively putting out content and trying to help you do the right things and make the right decisions. Just listen to the advice and reach out to someone. Like get, get connected. I'm happy to help, but it doesn't have to be me. Reach out to someone, get connected. And like, let's start talking about the steps. Like let's understand what it is exactly that you're trying to do. And then we'll figure out how we can get you there. Simply standing on the sideline and waiting for prices to fall is not going to help you get any closer to your end goal of buying a home. And if you're thinking about selling your house, guys, there's so many people on the seller side that are like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep riding this train and wait for prices to go way up there. The price appreciation that we've seen over the last 27 months is gone. Okay. It all happened already. It's there. We're at the top. This is the top now. So I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but guys, look at this. You look at Oklahoma city from 2020 to 2022, the median sales price for a home is up 188 to 231. Edmond is up from 281 to 355. Guthrie is up from 217 to 297. That's bananas. Okay. I mean, these prices are not going anywhere, but Here's how we know that for sure. We're going to look at the number of new listings. Now this is big. Okay. This tells us that the number of new listings that are coming to the market is dropping substantially. Now this is kind of a normal thing, right? This time of year around the holidays, things always slow down substantially. And it's a big talking point in the news and everything. People want to say, oh, the market's slowing down and housing this and that guys, people are spending time with families. Thanksgiving is the single biggest travel day of the entire year. People are out of town. People are getting ready for Christmas. They've got to keep cash in their pockets and in their bank accounts to buy presents. Here's the thing. New listings are down. If we look at the total number of homes for sale, it's up. Okay. Oklahoma city up 51.3%. Edmond up 77%. Guthrie up 175% in active homes for sale. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that there are fewer closed sales happening. There are fewer closings happening. This is the graph that represents that. So Oklahoma city down 36.7% month over month, Edmond down 38.9 and Guthrie down 28% respectively. So these are substantial decreases in the number of closed sales that are happening. Now, remember that's two part. First is the normal every year slowing of the market around this time, around the holidays. And second, we've got what we knew was coming. Everyone has known that this moment was coming since COVID happened. And we saw this boom. We knew there was going to be a correction. We knew things were going to slow down a little bit. We knew that this would all catch up to us. And here it is. It's not a bad thing. Okay. It's actually a healthy thing. We could not have ridden that roller coaster out forever. It just can't happen. Here's a cool number of days on market. This is a number I love to look at. It gives us a good indicator of how many buyers are in the marketplace looking at things, how 
many homes are on the market. Typically what you'll see is as there are more homes on the market and buyers have more inventory to choose from, they've got more options, homes are gonna stay on the market longer because buyers are shopping more. They're not going to look at two houses and then writing a contract. So to give you some perspective, Oklahoma City, the median is eight days. Edmond, the median is nine. Guthrie, the median is 19, okay? Guthrie is a little bit of an exception because it's a small market, but there's a lot happening in Guthrie real estate right now. So the numbers are skewed a little bit and um, this days on market is also skewed by all of the new construction that's been dumped into the MLS recently. So just take that with a grain of salt. Now, if you're a seller and you're looking at these days on market, thinking eight days on market in Oklahoma City, nine days on market in Edmond, wait, my house has been on the market for 17 days or you know 20 days. Well, that's okay, remember, we're looking at the median. Okay, if we look at the average, it's gonna show us a completely different number. And here's the thing, I'll show you this in a minute, but homes that are being listed and priced well, and they're updated and they're clean and very well presented, and you know, they're good listings. These homes are still selling very, very quickly. They're going under contract very, very quickly. In fact, Redfin still ranked Oklahoma City as one of the top most competitive markets. Even today, December 1st, it's still one of the most competitive markets in the country. But that's because we're insulated. We're not in Los Angeles. We're not in Chicago. We're not in New York. We're not in Florida. We're not in these coastal markets that have huge swings and huge price changes. We're in an area that is predominantly fed by very stable industries. The largest industry in Oklahoma City is the medical industry, which has been doing very, very well the last couple years. And we have a huge influx of people moving in from out of state. And of course, the cash injection that comes with those people moving in from out of of state helps our economy perform very well. So before I move on from this, let me just show you the average days on market. So if you're selling a property, you don't get concerned. So Oklahoma City 23, Edmond 28, Guthrie 31. This is the average days on market for a home being listed today. All right, median of course looks a lot better. Average is very realistic. Now, before we move on from this, I wanna show you just a couple more things. This is the month's supply, okay? This is the key indicator of the number of homes that we have for sale versus the ratio of people purchasing them and at what rate. So here's what I mean. If we were in Oklahoma City, okay, we're this blue bar here, 1.6 is the number. So that's 1.6 months of inventory if our closings continued happening at the rate that they are, okay? Okay, so basically, if we never got another new listing in Oklahoma City and we kept selling them the way that we have been, our market would last 1.6 months before it stopped, before there was nothing else to sell. Okay, Edmond would last two months and Guthrie would last 3.4 months. Now, these numbers are a huge increase from where we were last year. Last year, when you look and you see 1.9, 1.1, this really highlighted or high lit, am I saying that right? It highlighted the, the inventory inventory supply issue that we were having uh, through COVID, through all of COVID. The fact of the matter is we're not in COVID anymore. The market has had the opportunity to rebound and now we're going through a little bit of a growing pain or I guess a shrinking pain. You know, the market's contracting a little bit, but here's the thing. Here's the big, big, big thing to remember, guys. The last 12 to 13 years, we have produced less than half the number of new construction homes that we needed to, to keep up with our current rate of growth. That number alone, should tell you that we need more homes. And even though we've really, as a country, we've really ramped up new construction, we're still nowhere close to being caught up. So this little speed bump that we're in right now is just a speed bump. And remember, closings are still happening every single day. Here's another really cool number to look at in the MLS. This is our price per foot. And as you can see, price per foot is still up the month of November, year over year. 11.1% in Oklahoma City, that's $140 per foot. Ed is $167 per foot, Guthrie $157 a foot. Now that's the median. So if we look at average, here's your average. In Oklahoma City is $144, Edmonds $174, and Guthrie is $144. Now total dollar volume is another great number to look at. As you can see, we've had incredible decreases
versus year over year in total number of dollar volume. But the month of November saw Oklahoma City bringing in about $99 million in total gross volume. Edmond brought in $91.9 million and Guthrie brought in $9.6 million in the month of November. So if you don't have access to the MLS or if you're not yet working with an agent but you're interested in getting some market information, I want to recommend that you go to Redfin and look at their market data. Actually, I like to look at Redfin sometimes as well because the way that they display their data is just nice and easy to read, plus it's updated constantly. This is one thing that I love to look at. So how hot is the Oklahoma City housing market? This shows that the market is very competitive. We scored a 75 out of 100. And what this is telling us is many homes are getting multiple offers, some with waived contingencies. That's still happening. The average home sells for about 1% below list price, and it goes pending in around 15 days. Hot homes, okay, these are homes that are priced well and are updated. These homes sell for about 1% above list price and go pending in around four days. That's our indicator, guys. The market is still moving. There are still plenty of buyers out there. Here's one of the issues. Agents, sellers, please stop putting these homes on the market that are garbage pits and pretending like it's this beautiful, luxurious flip. It messes with the market. It disappoints your client because that house isn't going to bring what you listed it for. It's going to sit on the market. I digress. I could talk about this for a long time. This is another cool thing to look at, guys. This is the inbound migration. This is something I love to look at. It really gives us an idea of who is coming into the city and from where. And this is just so cool to see. So the number one influx of people is from Dallas, Texas. We had 427 new families move in between August 22 and October 22. Number two is Los Angeles. Three, San Francisco. Number four is Washington, D.C. Five is Denver. Then Seattle, San Diego, Phoenix. Stillwater is actually um, number nine. And Chicago, Illinois is number 10. Now, if you want a really cool statistic, check this out right here. Across the nation, 0.33% of home buyers searched to move into Oklahoma City from outside metros. So that's just under a half percent of the entire country of those people that were looking to move or buy a house, they wanted to move to Oklahoma City. That's really big news. If you live in Oklahoma City, if you've been considering selling your home, this is stuff that you should know. There are a lot of people moving to Oklahoma City and that's gonna be the case for a long time. So what does it all mean? Well, guys, here's my thought. Between the things that we're seeing in the market right now and what the data is telling us and then what we're seeing in real time, like with the mortgage rates dropping today, I see a market that is going through a little bit of a growing pain. We have had for, you know, 24 to 28 months, really a golden age of real estate here in Oklahoma City and really in the, in the entire world, okay? It's, that's how it is. But if you have been a homeowner in the Oklahoma City metro over the last, say, three, four, five years, the chances are you have made a healthy chunk of change, even if it's not cash in your pocket, it is equity in your home. And we also know that thankfully, this is not a price recession. Prices are not going anywhere. If you are a homeowner, your equity is protected, all right? It's not going to drop. Bottom's not gonna fall out. It will be okay. And homes that are priced and listed well are still selling very, very quickly. So guys, I hope that this brought you some value. And I also hope that it helps you understand the housing market and what's going on right here in Oklahoma City. And if you have any other questions or any more detailed questions or something specific to your situation, I want you to know you can reach out. I'm always available to help and I'd love to connect with you. And if you've been thinking about selling your home or if you'd just like to know what your home could go for in today's market, I want you to text CMA. That stands for Comparative Market Analysis. You're going to text CMA to 405-652-2669. I'm not going to call you. I'll just shoot you a text back with an estimated net to seller sheet and that'll have all the information you need. And if you'd like to talk more, you can reach out. And you can also click the link in my bio to schedule a time for us to talk one-on-one. -on -one. So guys, that is it. That's all that I have for right now. That is your December 2022 market update. The next time we talk, it'll be in 2023. And before then, I just want to say thank you so much. And I just want to say thank you so much for your time and attention. In 2022, 2023, our attention spans are very, very small. And so the fact that you've made it this far into the video really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. And because I'm still trying to grow my channel, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And if you'd like to show me a little love, go ahead and smash that like button too. Guys, my name's Craig Kiriokis from the Curio House Group, brokered by Exit Realty here in Oklahoma City. And if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one.